For this video, we're going to tackle rolling back DJI GO 4 on iOS to an earlier version. Uh, so a lot of people get caught in the automatic update, the update to the latest version, they don't like it. So uh, we're going to fix that. Uh, you need iTunes 12.3.1 or older, uh, Charles Web Proxy, uh, Windows or Mac will work. Uh, the links to the downloads are in the comments. Uh, really, your major steps to success here are remove iTunes, reboot, uh, get these two apps, install them, we need to rename a file, open up iTunes and Charles, uh, and then basically start the download process. We interrupt it and we get the old version. So I'm going to assume you guys have downloaded the, uh, the applications. We're going to install iTunes 12.3.1. Uh, so go ahead and uh, install this. You need to remove the other version first. You can remove it uh, through add remove programs or uninstall programs through Windows uh, or through your application manager for, for Mac. Should go pretty quick. Uh, if it asks you at the end to open iTunes, go ahead and choose no. Uh, once that's done, go ahead and uh, install Charles Web Proxy. This is going to be version 4.x. My prior videos were version 3. Uh, version 4 works just as fine, so feel free to download that one. Okay, once those are both done, uh, before we actually go getting into them, open up a file explorer and go to your music folder and then open up iTunes. And here you're going to see iTunes library itl. Uh, we're going to rename that to .old, otherwise you get an error message when you open up iTunes. So we'll go ahead and close that window. Uh, and then what we're going to do is go ahead and open up iTunes. But this is the first time it's going to ask you to agree to the EULA. Uh, some pop-ups there, so we'll go ahead and get past those. Hit agree, and then go into the iTunes store. Uh, go ahead and open up Charles Web Proxy. If you have a tr uh, the trial version, which is what I have, it might have a slight delay, so just go ahead and let that load. I like to kind of space my uh, my desktop out so the two windows are side by side, so I can work out in parallel. Uh, I recommend doing that. So feel free to, to kind of shift those around. Uh, but before we dive into these, we're going to go over to my spreadsheet that has the different uh, DJI Go app versions in it. Uh, so once you get your your layout and stuff there. Um, you can go ahead and search for, for DJI Go if you want. We're just going to double check here that we've got breakpoints enabled. It's recording in Charles. Um, so go over to iTunes, search for DJI Go 4. We're going to let the search results finish, but don't click the download or the get button yet. Um, instead, bounce over to my spreadsheet, get the version that you want. Uh, you'll see in column A there's going to be a, I don't know, 10 digit number. Go ahead and copy whatever one you want into the clipboard. And then go back over into iTunes and go ahead and click Get to download the, uh, the DJI Go app. Now go ahead and enter your email address and your password for iTunes. It's a free app. Uh, go ahead and hit Get. And then you'll notice you get this pop-up here that it can't verify the server identity. Always click Continue there. That's a big failure point. Uh, and then you'll notice over in Charles that it interrupted the download. Um, go ahead and click the Edit Request tab on the top and then the XML text on the bottom there. And you'll see this number here that I've highlighted. Go ahead and delete that and then paste in uh, the number that we copied from that spreadsheet earlier. Now, I don't see a paste option there, so I'm just going to control V it in. And then on the bottom, go ahead and click the execute button. Uh, no more changes are needed. Go ahead and click execute again if you see it come up. And then you notice over there in iTunes on the top right, we've got a download option now. So this is actually downloading uh, the 4.0.8. Uh, I know because the file size is actually a lot smaller. This is, uh, what, 189 megs. The most recent version, 4.1.3, is uh, 230 megs or something. So uh, we got this file downloaded. It says done. Go ahead and move over to your apps. Click My Apps. And we're just going to verify that we got the right version here. Go ahead and right click or uh, click on that file. Click Get Info. You'll see we've got 4.0.8. Okay, at this point, so we're basically done. You can go ahead and uh, leave those be, uh, but what we need to do is remove DJI Go 4 from your iPad, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and resync. So go to your iPad, go ahead and do the hold until it squiggly moves, and then choose to delete. You can do this through settings in the App Manager as well. Uh, once that's done, uh, we don't really need the iPad, but go ahead and plug it in. We don't need to be using it, but go ahead and plug it into the computer. And then if you're in iTunes still, which is where we left it, it should recognize that device. I think I'm just going to double check here that the version of uh, DJI Go is 4.0.8, it's still the one that we downloaded. Alright, we're good to go here. Okay, after verifying that, and that's not a needed step, um, go ahead and click on the device, go into the apps, uh, you'll see DJI Go there, the install button will show up, go ahead and click install, and go ahead and apply it to sync your device. And it's just worthy to call out right in that screen there, the file size is actually going to be wrong. 
That's going to be the latest version. We fooled it, so it's going to be a, a different file size, so just ignore that. Uh, you can go ahead and apply, sync. You'll see that in, then it's copying over DGI Go 4 to the tablet. Just a minute here. Okay, once that's done, you can go ahead and unplug the lightning cable, turn your iPad on, go ahead and find that app, usually it's on the last screen. We'll see in my case it's still uh, finishing up the install, so we'll go ahead and click that. We'll get some pop-ups here uh, asking if we want to allow it to access the microphone, the camera, uh, location, things like that. Go ahead and click OK on all of those. And if you get that EULA on the bottom, go ahead and click Accept as well. Okay, so now we'll go into Me and then Settings, and you'll see the version here. Uh, we, in fact, did install Go 4.0.8. There's a second way that we can verify this. Uh, we're going to go into the Equipment. I don't have a, an aircraft connected right now, but we can still go into the device. Skip the safety tutorial. Go ahead and click those three dots in the top right corner up there to open up the Settings or the Options. Uh, scroll down for About, and then within About, you can see we've got 4.0.8 as well. All right, so you've successfully rolled back to an earlier version. Uh, one of the key things here is to make sure you turn off auto updates. If you don't turn off auto updates, it's just gonna auto update their latest version and you just uh, did all this for nothing. So make sure that you, uh, you turn off auto updates within the settings. Uh, and just want to call out, um, if this isn't working for you, make sure you're on an older version of iTunes, make sure breakpoints are enabled, make sure Charles is recording the session, and make sure the SSL proxy is enabled for the iTunes server. Those are the common failure points. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.